ओके टुडे विल बी टेकिंग द सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश फॉर क्लास सेकेंड स्टैंडर्ड एंड द टॉपिक विच विल बी डीलिंग टुडे इज अ शॉर्ट पोएम ऑन पेज नंबर सिक्सटी सेवन इट इज कॉल्ड द फारी होम ओके सो वी ऑल नो वट इज अ होम अ होम इज अ प्लेस वेर वी ऑल लिव टूगेदर एज अ फैमिली इज इंट इट द फैमिली इंक्लूड्स द फादर मदर एंड चिल्ड्रन and even if it is a big family it also includes the grandparents the cousins the aunts and uncles isn't it so home is a place we all live as a family so here in this poem we are talking about the furry home so what do you mean by the word furry the word furry means a very cozy place okay a very comfortable place which gives you immense uh, comfortable okay it gives you immense comfort where you can stay there for a long time so for example if your bed is very comfortable okay if it is very furry the blanket is very furry you don't feel like getting up in the morning isn't it it's all our children you want to feel like sleeping all the time even when your mother calls you will tell mummy 2 minutes 2 minutes and you keep on sleeping there in your bed because it is so comfortable and cozy that you do not feel like getting up okay you do not feel like waking up at all so that is called furry furry is a thing which gives you immense comfort okay okay now in this poem we'll see what happens in this furry home who stays in this furry home so i'm going to read out this poem and explain to you all just concentrate on that poem the furry home on page number 67 if i were a mouse and wanted a house i think i would choose my new red shoes furry edges fur inside what a lovely place to hide I would not travel I would not roam just sit in my furry home So now we came to know after reading that this poem is about a mouse okay so mouse also he finds a place somewhere in the home isn't it even in our homes also so many pests are there the cockroaches maybe the rats the mouse also they dwell in the houses isn't it so these are called pest and we do not want them so here this is a poem about a mouse who finds itself a very comfortable home inside the people's house what is that he finds a place in the shoes okay he finds a home inside a shoe so that only he is telling if i were a mouse and wanted a house i think i would choose so the poet is telling if i was a mouse i would have chosen a shoe for my resting place for the place to live in my new red shoes so he is so the mouse is telling the red shoes he wants to live in the red shoes furry edges fur inside so all the edges are very comfortable okay and it is very furry and also there is a fur inside like a blanket what a lovely place to hide he is telling that it is a very lovely place to hide himself i would not travel i would not roam so he is telling i will not travel also and i don't want to roam also as i told you when you people are in the bed if it is the time of morning so you are not able to get up from the bed isn't it you feel very comfortable you feel very cozy in that so even the mouse is telling i would not travel at all i would not roam also just sit in my furry home so he would not do anything but he likes to sit he loves to sit in his furry home that is the red shoes okay children so this was the poem about the furry home a mouse finds his place okay to stay there in the shoes in the re new red shoes so that place he called as the furry home so once again we are going to read out this poem if i were a mouse and wanted a house i think i would choose my new red shoes furry edges fur inside what a lovely place to hide i would not travel i would not roam 
just sit in my furry home and the poet's name is j m westra okay the poet who has written this poem is j m westra okay children hope you all have understood the short poem okay